If you need an EA to pass any prop firm challenge then we have them, and they work. See the link in the description below this video, now let's get started. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to prove to you why trading with the trend has got to be the most important thing that you consider in your trading. The issue is, that the majority of trend indicators that you find on TradingView literally just follow the trend, and you would need to find a number of other individual indicators to add together before you came up with a workable strategy. It's not uncommon to have to amalgamate 7 or 8 indicators to eventually find something reliable and robust. I've always been on the lookout for an indicator that contained extra features from external indicators, so you didn't have to go and do so much exhaustive research in order to create a strategy that you could rely on. Well, what I'm about to show you is going to amaze you, because I have found one single indicator that does the job of 7 or 8 indicators. I'm going to show you how to set it up, and how to start trading it right away. If you find value in this video, then please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and ring the bell. Okay, the indicator that we're going to be using from TradingView is called the ultimate buy and sell indicator. As I've said, we're going to be using TradingView for this whole strategy. And if you haven't got a free account yet, you can find a link to TradingView underneath this video. Now the system works on any asset from Bitcoin to metals and currencies, and it works on any time frame. But for this video I'm just going to pick out the Australian dollar against the Japanese yen on the 15 minute time frame. So, go to TradingView and do a search for the ultimate buy and sell indicator. As you can see on the screen now. The one that we're going to be using is the one that you can see here. Which has been created by Sherlock MacGyver. The name of this indicator more or less gives the game away. In as much as you can tell that it does many things at the same time as it contains aspects of a very accurate buy and sell indicator as well as the functionality of a highly accurate trend following system. So we have a buy sell system and a trend following system all wrapped up in one simple indicator. So first of all we're going to be using the indicator to determine the trend, and once that has been established we're going to use the same indicator to identify accurate buy and sell entries. As I've said, this single indicator is going to do two different and crucially important tasks for us. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about how the indicator works on a technical basis. The first element of this indicator takes coding from the Bollinger Bands as you can see highlighted here. And you can see here the two Bollinger Band lines, as well as the middle moving average line of the Bollinger Bands. The next aspect of the indicator are the two moving averages that you can see on screen at the moment. We have a 200 period exponential moving average, and a 100 period exponential moving average, both tracking the trend. The two different colored vertical bars that you can see on the chart represent the buy and sell signals, with the orange bars being the buy entries, and the purple bars being the sell entries. And you can see the letter B and the letter S confirming which is which. You can also see here orange and purple squares on the chart. Now these are actually there to give you a heads up, and I'll show you what to do with them in a few minutes. But for now all you need to know is that the orange squares are called buy watch signals and the purple squares are called sell watch signals. Another extremely powerful part of this indicator are the bullish and bearish divergence lines that you can see on the screen right now. And the indicator is identifying this divergence because it has got the settings of the RSI indicator also built into it. So the different colored lines that you see here are divergences based on the relative strength index. The only problem is right now that you're looking at a bit of a cluttered chart and not all of the features that you see here are actually required to trade the system. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of customization in the settings before moving on. I want you to double click on the indicator and go into the input settings. And what I want you to do is disable the Bollinger Bands and turn off these last four options that you see here. Next come all the way down to where you see the RSI divergence section. And turn off the option to show divergence. And that's all I want you to do. So let's move on to understanding how the indicator gives us the buy and sell signals that we're going to trade. The first thing to talk about are the watch signals, which I referenced earlier back. These are early warning signals taken from current price action and the activity of the Bollinger Bands. Like I said, this is a very advanced indicator. What the watch signals are doing are they are indicating potential entries, but we don't actually pull the trigger yet. Remember that the buy watch signals are colored orange and the sell watch signals are colored purple. Now the indicator needs additional confirmation before confirming an entry. And these conditions may come from the relative strength index crossing the zero line or possibly it could also be current price action on the charts, or it could be the moving average crossover divergence as well. Here I'm highlighting a sell, and shortly after the indicator gave us a confirmed short signal to sell the market, and we would be placing our sell trade at the close of this bar. Place your stop loss above the swing high, and go for a profit target of 1 to 2. Next, 
you can see me highlighting a buy watch signal which was shortly after confirmed with the printed buy entry on the charts. Here we would enter long on the close of the signal bar, and again go for at least 1 to 2, moving your stop to break even when you get a 1 to 1 profit. Ok now let's look at the other feature of this indicator which is how it identifies the trend. Quite simply, when the blue moving average is above the purple moving average then we're in a bullish trend, and you may find it easier to change the colors of these two moving averages to make it easier to see on the chart. Vice versa when the blue moving average is under the purple moving average then we have got a confirmed bearish trend. Now to perfect this strategy I want you to add one more trading view indicator onto your chart. I want you to go to the search bar and type in hybrid EMA and select this one here which was developed by Uldis Abri. As usual, as soon as you have the indicator on the chart, double click on it and we'll edit the settings. Simply change the look back period to 5 and go into the style section and change the overbought color to red, and do this for both colors. Next, choose green for the color for the oversold gradient and save the settings. Now the importance of the hybrid indicator in the strategy is that we're going to use it to identify when the market makes a pullback. Here we're looking at the bullish trend, and you can see that the market makes a pullback when the hybrid indicator makes the dip as you can see here. Here are another couple of examples of pullbacks in this bullish market. When the market is in a downtrend, then you're going to see a pullback identified when the hybrid makes a sudden leap back up, and here I'm showing you two perfect examples of pullbacks in a bearish market. So now let me give you the exact rules for entry for the strategy, which is going to blow you away. Taking a long position as the first example, the first thing that we need to see is that the market is in a confirmed bullish trend, based on the two different colored moving averages on the indicator. The next thing that we need to see is a pullback in the hybrid indicator. When you see the hybrid indicator turn green you know that you have got the pullback that you need. To get a confirmed long entry we need to see a printed buy signal on the screen before the hybrid indicator comes out of the pullback area. Now the buy and sell signals only appear after the close of the signal bar, so your entry is going to be on the open of the next bar. Lastly, make sure that the bar that is highlighted as your entry bar closes above the moving average line, as this will prevent you taking an entry in a situation where the market momentum is slowing down. So, enter the trade straight away, place your stop under the most recent swing low and aim for a profit target of 1 to 2, as shown in the previous two examples. We let this trade do what it does. And as you can see that because we follow the rules, the target was reached without going into any drawdown. Now, let's look at short examples, where the entry rules are simply the opposite of those used for long signals. So first of all satisfy yourself that the market is in a confirmed bearish trend using the two moving averages. Next, satisfy yourself that you see a confirmed pullback by the hybrid indicator, and we need the hybrid exponential moving average to cross back over the 85 level and when it changes color to red you've got the confirmation that you need. What we need now is for the ultimate buy and sell indicator to issue a confirmed sell signal while the hybrid is still colored red. Remember, you won't see the entry signal until the bar closes so you will be taking the sell on the open of the next candle, placing your stop above the most recent swing high, and going for a 1 to 2 risk reward. Remember, that your entry candle must close beneath the lower moving average line. Again. This is just another confirmation that the market has not gone into a sideways trend. You can see again that because all of the entry conditions were met perfectly, the trade went straight to our take profit target. So you can see by using the ultimate buy and sell indicator in conjunction with the hybrid exponential moving average, you're going to get exact entry points whether the market is bullish or bearish. And by identifying very accurate pullbacks in both bullish and bearish trends, you will be executing trades with extremely high probability. Both of these two indicators are freely available on TradingView, so there's nothing to stop you going in and doing 30 minutes back testing right away, to prove to yourself how much money you could be making with this very well thought out system. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel to get early notification of all of the systems that are released to my clients free of charge. Thank you for taking the time to watch and until next time, safe trading.